everyone. We are going to write out the four finger frame notes on the E string. First, we're going to play it and then we will write it. So grab your violin and your bow and remember to say the notes names along with me while you play it. First finger frame, three, four, E. F sharp, G sharp, A, we're going to write it. Grab a pencil and your manuscript paper and off we go. We start with our open E string which is written in the top space. No fingers and it's the note E. Our first finger plays the note F sharp. Second finger plays the note G sharp. Third finger, we need to add a ledger line, nice and straight. That's the note A. And fourth finger, keep your ledger line and the note goes just above. Remember to pause the video at any point if you need some more time to write those notes down. These accidentals, these sharps, are not always written in front of the note and often appear in the key signature. The key signature is always written in the same order, F sharp first, then C sharp, and then G sharp. There may be more sharps after that, but we're interested in the F sharp and the G sharp. So this note over here can be written without the sharp in front of it, but it's still an F sharp because the key signature, the F sharp and the key signature makes all the Fs in the piece F sharp. But still an F sharp played in the same position as this note. And the same for G sharp. There's the note G. Because of this sharp, all the G's are sharp. And it is therefore still a G sharp and a nice high second finger. We're going to move on to the second finger frame. Pick up your, pick up your violin so that we can play it. On the E string. Remember your second finger is going to be low. E, F sharp, G, A, E. Let's go and write it. The second finger frame, the only note that changes is the G sharp becomes a G. So we still have F, sorry, we still have E, F sharp stays the same. And now instead of G sharp, we have G. And that means that our second finger is going to be placed close to our first finger. The third finger remains the same, the note A, which will match your open A in sound. And the fourth finger stays the same, the note B. So now what we would expect to see in a key signature is we will definitely see an F sharp. We may or may not see the C sharp, but we won't see the G sharp. And that will mean that F still is played as an F sharp, but G, there's nothing in the key signature to make that G sharp. So it's just a plain G. Let's move on to the third finger frame. The third finger frame has a high third finger. So, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and right next to it, E. Writing out the notes of the third finger frame, we go back to our first finger frame pattern and we're going to raise that third finger to an A sharp. E remains the same. F sharp remains the same. We have G sharp again. And now we're adding A sharp. And that is placed right next to the fourth finger, B. 
So the third finger stretches up towards the fourth finger. What can we expect in the key signature? We would find an F sharp. After F sharp, we always write C sharp, then G sharp, then D sharp, and then A sharp is written over here. It would be strange to write the A sharp on the ledger line. And so we go down and write it in this space. So you'll remember that this is where you write your open A. So this A sharp is going to apply to all the A's in the piece. It doesn't matter if they're written up here or if they're written in the space where the open A is. Any A in the piece will become an A sharp. So we will still have this note being played as F sharp. We will have this note being played as G sharp. And we will have this note being played as A sharp because of the sharps in the key signature. Let's move on to the last finger frame, which is the fourth one. The fourth finger frame has the low first finger. So we play E, pull your first finger back for F. Just a tip here, make sure that when you pull your first finger back, you're pulling the finger towards your hand. Do not allow your wrist to do that in order to pull that first finger back. You just take your first finger and pull it closer to your hand. Let's go again. E, F, G, A, which will match your open A, and B flat. Let's go and write that. Writing the notes of the fourth finger frame on the E string, we'll have E, our open string, and now we're going to have F, that first finger that was pulled back, G, so we're going back to the second finger frame, G, A, which will match your open A, and right next to it, we're going to play a B flat. So it's a little unusual. To have this B flat. We're going to write it. Over there in the key signature, which would mean that this note over here would be played with the fourth finger as a B flat. And that's the fourth finger frame.